bits and pieces to show you. Uh, firstly, a uh, license plate stomp box. Oop, does your lead there. Uh, Okie okay, doke, which is a simple Pietro pickup, handcrafted box and a genuine license plate, uh, US license plate, truck license plate. Just put through my little uh, Carlsbrook turn water, put it on the floor. Got little rub rubber non-slip feet, metal edges, and guitar I've just built. Three string, classic uh, cigar box guitar, lovely sort of orangey yellow uh, Havana, what is it, Fonseca box with a mahogany neck and a cherry fretboard, inlaid uh, fretboard with position markers, medium nickel silver frets, nice Japanese hard nickel silver, precision style pickup with the tone and volume on it, so the deco style sound holes. Uh, Decent quality sealed machine heads and a bone nut, a cherry wood floating bridge and an aluminium tailpiece. All the usual refinements. Um, nice and simply put together, as I do. Um, this is about number 200 and, ooh, 245, I think. So I've been making quite a few of these. Just show you a little bit. It's tuned in open G. You can tune it open D however you want, top three of a regular guitar. It's set up so it can be played slide and regular. This is just clean through my little se old sessionette here. Tune in means you can play around with all sorts of little partial chords and weird harmonies, which is nice. possibilities there. Uh, let's put some a bit of dirt on it to get a nice growly sound. Just uh, sort of get all just <laughs> If you're not used to these sort of things, three strings, you might think, well, that's weird. Why hasn't he put six strings on it? You only need three strings for uh, to get a three notes to get a chord, which you've got here. And it's just like the top three of an, if you are remotely familiar with slide playing or if you're not, you tend to use an open tuning. This is to like the top three notes of an open tuning, which is G and B, which is the normal third and uh, second of your guitar. With a D on the top, that's the D tuned down from an E. That gives you it, although it's a D in the top, this is an open G tuning. So whatever you play, you've always got a you've always got a harmony. So simply by putting a bar across with your finger or the slide gives you a chord, so a classic blues progression. plays in open G, only puts five strings on because that bottom string is normally tuned down to a D, which you don't want in a G chord, so you sort of uh, three-fifths of the way through to that stone stuff, and then just a bar with a couple of fingers, you get that...
so there you go, you can do a lot with one of these little guitars. If you're a slide player, you'll find that even with only three strings, you can probably play 90% of what you would do on a regular six string guitar. There's far few uh, wrong notes to hit. If you're a beginner, again, three strings, it's the minimum you need to make a nice, uh, a nice round chord. And then with the slide, just simply, as I say, at the uh, at the appropriate positions, you can get another chord. And again, by using your fingers in the same way. And it sort of encourages you to play as well. There's, I mean, I don't have anything written down for this. I know. Some people do do tab and that for cigar box guitar. But with only three strings, you'll find some chords. And harmonies and, harmonies and discords. That perhaps you wouldn't find on a six string guitar because there's just too many other notes to think about. Lots of scope for improvisation, improving your technique, working out new songs, getting new sounds and flavours. It's all about just being different, breaking away. You do not need a £1,000 tailor or a Les Paul or a Telecaster or whatever. You just don't need it. Uh, you turn up with a, at your local open mic or blues club or a jazz club or folk club with one of these and people will just be blown away by the fact that you can get a sound out of it and not only can get you get a sound out of these things they sound damn good uh, so for the fraction of the price this is every one of these I build is different unique so I've got this sort of technique down for these but everyone's a wee bit different different box and the neck and everything's custom fitted to this there's no production line I do make quite a lot of them but you can be sure that every one of these is it's, it's, it's unique in its own little way and it's got its own little touches. Um, there you go. Thanks for listening to me rambling on. Bye for now. <laughs>